will inspect and palpate the skull. So his head is normal cephalic. And for the temporal artery, which lies superior to the uh, temporal muscle, the uh, pulse is palpable. Can you please open and close your mouth? No TMJ is noted. Next, we'll inspect the face. So for his expression, he is appropriate to behavior. His mood is calm. He does not appear hostile, tense or rigid, or have a flat affect, which would indicate depression. Now to assess symmetry, we'll first note that the eyebrows are symmetrical. The palpebral fissures, the space in between the canthus here is also symmetrical. The nasal labial folds are symmetrical. Can you smile for me? And the sides of his mouth are also symmetrical. He doesn't have any involuntary movements no tics, no excessive blinking, no edema, which for the first place you would see it is the periorbital area, and no lesions are noted. Next, we'll inspect and palpate the neck. So for the symmetry, the head is positioned and centered, it's midline, neck muscles are symmetric. A head tilt occurs with muscle spasm and rigid if arthritis was noted. So range of motion, please put chin to chest, head right to left, touch ear to shoulder without moving shoulder, very good, and tilt head back. Any pain? No. Very good. Next we'll palpate the lymph nodes. So here we have the preauricular, the posterior auricular, the occipital, the submental, the submandibular, the juglodigastric, the superficial cervical, the deep cervical chain, the posterior cervical, and the supraclavicular. So the salivary glands usually aren't palpable, but they are sublingual, submandibular, and parotid. So for tracheal positioning, in order to check to see if the trachea is midline, we'll place an index finger on the trachea in the sternal notch, and we'll slip our finger down. It is noted to be midline. Next, we'll inspect the thyroid gland. So the thyroid gland is a little difficult to uh, palpate, so landmarks are important. I will start from the posterior approach. So we'll ask the patient to tilt the head backwards and we'll stretch the skin. And I'll ask the patient to please take a little sip of water and inspect. Very good. So the neck cartilages are the important landmarks. The thyroid cartilages, which has a small palpable V, which is basically the men's Adam apple, and beneath that is the cricoid cartilage, and beneath that is the isthmus of the thyroid gland that hugs the second and third tracheal ring. Please take another sip of water. and we will note for any enlargement and for symmetry. So for the anterior approach, and then we will auscultate with the bell of the stethoscope. If enlarged, you would more than likely hear a brew it, but there's nothing abnormal here.